A week ago, the state line lost a hero. 13 News' Tyler Shoryman joins us to explain Chief Bradley Liggett's impact on the Beloit community. Tyler. Bradley Leggett. Leggett served a total of over three decades on both the Beloit and Freeport uh, fire departments. Earlier today, I spoke to a few of his former colleagues who all say there was only one Brad Leggett. He just found a positive light in everything that ever came up. He just, he was a guy who was just always fun to talk to. Even with the pressure of being a fire chief for over three decades, Bradley Liggett never let those he cared about down. If you ever called him, it wouldn't matter when it was. He always had a positive attitude about it. Yeah, let's get it done. And in return, his colleagues were there for him during his last days at Beloit Memorial Hospital. As soon as he turned the corner onto Cranston Road and saw the, the lineup of personnel in their turnout gear and the ladder truck with the flag and, um, and the lights, uh, you know, I, I think it's something that, you know, you'll never forget. During his time of service, Chief Leggett made it a priority to give back to his community, especially to veterans. President of Vets Role in South Beloit, Mark Finnegan, says helping people was a part of Leggett's DNA. He, he was a person that just couldn't do enough to help people. I mean, he was involved in so many social programs. The one thing that we want to do is, is better our community. We want to keep uh, the people in our community safe. And um, he definitely was very passionate about that. One piece of advice Beloit Deputy Chief Joseph Murray will always remember from Leggett is to have your teams back. It was just take care of the, the personnel uh, that, you know, were charged with um, supervising and, and administrating. A legacy left behind, ready to be carried on by future firefighters in the state line. Visitation will be held at Central Christian Church Chapel in Beloit starting at 9.30 a.m. It will then be followed by a funeral service at noon. Brittany, back to you. Tyler, thank you.